we have been studying anti anti Christ. There are many anti Christ um, uh, written and prophesied uh, in the Bible, but uh, uh, last few weeks we've been studying Illuminati and Freemasons and Pope and Jesuit and WCC and so on. Last week uh, we studied the Freemason, in particular uh, the history of Freemason, okay? because the Freemason would be one of the uh, beasts uh, in Revelation chapter 13. As I told you before, in the Revelation chapter 13, there are two beasts. First beast and the second beast. First beast, what we call the political and economical and social and cultural antichrist. Namely, Illuminati and Freemason. Do you remember that? Now, the second beast also, I told you that, headed by a Vatican Pope and two horns. First horn is Jesuit and second horn is WCC. Now we will we will slowly study each of those uh, horns. Now today I will continue Freemason. What is Freemason? There are many members of Freemasons, so I call it. Freemasons, plural. So today, Freemasons are Cain's descendants. I will go over a little bit what we have learned last time, okay, in order to teach this. Now, here, the last time, Adam, Fall of Adam was a BC 4114. Okay. Uh, Adam's son, Cain, who killed Abel. I interpret, I like to interpret, Cain would be the founder of Freemason. He is a founder of Freemason. That's my interpretation. Okay. Cain built, he built what? He built the city of, not Cain, his son Enoch. His son Enoch built the city of Enoch. City of Enoch. Masons means stone builders. See? The mason means stone builders. So the Cain, son of Adam, was the founder of stone builders. So Cain was, he was a master builder. And all others uh, in those days, slaves. So it's a slave, slave. All others are slaves. This kind of social system is called feudal system. Feudal. It's 
the feudal system means there is a one master and all remainders are slaves. That's a social system. One master and remaining civilians are slaves one way or another. That's what we call feudal system. Have you heard that? Feudal system. That system continues all over throughout human history. King and all others are servants of kings. It's an imperial system. Now, that's why in the Bible always said that Jesus is the Lord. He is the Lord, only master. And we all Christians are slaves. So that feudal system employed in the Bible. Even during the time of the first century, the time of Jesus, societies all over the world at that time was under the feudal system. Now, remember last time, that was uh, written here in Genesis 4.17. That city of Enoch story, Genesis 4.17. Okay, when you teach that, don't forget that. Now, here we see... 2, 4, 5, 8 was a flood. Now, after the flood, around 2,400, I told you in Egypt, Giza pyramid. Pyramid was built by Freemasonries, okay? Then about the same time, I was said, it's a Babel Tower was built in Genesis 11, verses one through nine. Babel Tower. Now, Genesis, right after, right after uh, flood, Noah's grandson is a Nimrod. Nimrod was a here, descendant of, I would say, this is, we said that Nimrod, who is a founder of Babylonian religion, he is a founder of Babylonian religion, he was master Freemason. I just uh, considered that, Nimrod. Okay. Two one six it was Abraham. Abraham. Now nine fifty nine Jerusalem Temple. Jerusalem Temple was built by Solomon. With the help of the king of, with the help of a king of Tyre. His name is Hiram. King of Tyre, 
who helped Solomon in building Jerusalem temple. Now, Ezekiel 28, 12 says that king of Tyre was a Satan, symbolic, the symbol of Satan. In Ezekiel 28, 12, the Holy Spirit inspired Ezekiel, the king of Tyre, is symbolized as Satan. So we just interpret that Hiram is a, is a symbol of satanic descendant, and also he was a Freemason. He was, who built, along with Solomon, the Jerusalem temple. Okay, So temple builders, mostly, were member of Freemasons and slave masons. Isn't it interesting? So in AD... 539, it's a Sophia temple, Temple Sophia, there is a Greek Orthodox church. It's all built by Freemasonaries. And 604 AD, that's the Roman Catholic Saint Peter's Cathedral. Also, it's Roman Catholic Church. And 2 days, St. Peter's Basilica on the same site. St. Peter's Basilica also built by Freemasonaries. And this is a Roman Catholic Church in 1858 and St. Isaac, St. Isaac's Cathedral. That's a Russian Orthodox Church. And we assume now future before the second coming of Jesus, the third temple, third temple of Jerusalem. Will be, will be rebuilt by. We assume that who, under the assistance of who, free masons, yeah. Free masons along with illuminaries. Not only that, Pope and Jesuit and WCC, all those. Two beast groups will take part in the reconstruction of the third temple. Are you writing down there? Writing down Illuminati and Pope and Jesuit and WCC. All these two beast Antichrist. Okay, all these antichrist will take part in rebuilding the third temple. The third temple is uh, Matthew twenty four fifteen. It says third temple, 
And Second Thessalonians 2, 1, 3, 4. And Revelation 11, verses 1 to 2. All these relate, relate to future third temple. So we, we look forward to seeing upcoming third temple building plans with our excitement along with our biblical prophecies involved in that activity. So you just uh, teach your people, your, your member of your church peoples in this way. Now, with that idea here, who is Cain? Who is Cain? Then you will say, he is first Freemason. He is a first Freemason. Now, here, who is Cain here in First John? In First John, three twelve, John says about Cain. Okay, First John, three twelve. John said this. John said that Cain. Okay, he belong. He belonged to the evil one. He said that Cain belonged to the evil one. Then our question is this. Who is the evil one? Who is the evil one? Here, Jesus said in Matthew 13, 19, and also Mark 4, 15, he said, the evil one is Satan. Or devil is the same. The evil one, it's a the, it's definite article here. The, the evil one. Okay? It's a definite article. The evil one is Satan and also same devil. With that, with that reference, we would say Cain, so Cain was a child of Satan. Okay, it's a first John three ten with that reference is first John three twelve. He said Cain belonged to the evil one. Okay? Then who is the evil one? I gave you two references. The evil one is who? Devil and Satan. Okay. Therefore, therefore, Cain was a child of Satan. Now, here in Revelation, he said that in Revelation 13, 8, it's same. Revelation chapter 13, remember that? Two beasts, okay? 
and even 17:8, it said this. John saw, John was told by the Holy Spirit, by Jesus in particular, that these beasts, it says here, their names, their names, the two beast names, including all the Satan children's names, their names, Their names not recorded, not recorded in the Book of Life. In the Book of Life, from the foundation of this world, since from the The earth. So this this reference uh, indicates that you know since the foundation of this word, this word, non-Christians' names were not recorded. It looks like predestination. Predesigned. So now Jesus said here, Cain belonged to the evil one. Then who is the evil one? Satan. Now, therefore, Cain was a child of Satan. Now, and their name, Cain's name, and all the Satan's children's names were not recorded in the book of life since when? Since the foundation of this world. So there is a very interesting remark. In other words, Christians' names were recorded even prior to their birth. Prior to their existence in this world, the names were recorded in the Book of Life. So don't forget these two references here. Revelation 13.8 and Revelation 17.8. These two verses. You have more in Matthew 13.35 has very similar references to Matthew 13, 35. Now, with these implications, uh, those premations which we will study today, these all the peoples who belong to Freemasons are belong to Satan's community and these people living in this world doing God's pre-planned schedules in order to teach God's children in this world. So we are going to be Trained by these people, the purpose of creation, the purpose of creation. So I told you many times, this world is the school of purpose of creation. Jesus is principal, and vice principal is Satan. And these satanic children are teachers, and Christians are students. 
So their existence is very clear. To teach <coughs> God's children the purpose of creation while we are living in this world. Upon our physical death, we will graduate. We will graduate. So we are temporary here in this world as students. So the Bible said, this world is not our home. We are temporary visiting in this world as aliens, temporal visitors, and pilgrims. So these Freemasons people are our teachers where God allowed them to train us the purpose of creation. So they are God's gift to us. So they are not our just, you know, simple enemies. They are our helpers. <laughs> Okay, to learn purpose of creation. So they all belong to the hands of the principal who is Jesus Christ. Amen? Today, their activities, Freemasons and Illuminati's activities are very prevailing all over the world today. Very powerfully in order to teach us that you guys, you God's children, Jesus' second coming is very near. That is the message. Okay, from them. So they are speaking. They are speaking very loudly to us that you Christians, you better wait for the coming of Jesus Christ. We are acting for you. To learn all these messages of second coming of Jesus. Okay? Yeah. I'll just tell you briefly what Freemasons are. They are descendants of Cain. Okay? Now, I will study a little bit further uh, uh, in the next lecture. So, all day long today, we will study. Freemasons, lecture 37 and 38, 39, even 40. All day today, we will study on Freemasons. You should be ready for that. Amen? Okay, let's take a break. May God bless you.